not only our eyes, but our hearts cry for the Palestinian people. When leaders are brutally killed and that the forces are using violence in houses of worship and bloodsheds are happening among children and women and houses of innocent civilians are demolished, this shows that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is politicized rather than harmonized through constructive solutions. Therefore, this escalating act of violence in Palestine and the act of political hypocrisy by the Israeli government needs to stop and justice for the people needs to be served because the Muslims, the Jewish and the Christians manage to live through harmonious terms throughout history in many, many centuries and different times. But when there is, uh, what do you call it, tension, extreme tensions that happen and converge and are dealt with biasness in rights, are dealt with um, severe killings, and pervasive threats, therefore, uh, it will bring negative, long-term, devastating um, impacts, uh, economic impacts, uh, social impacts, uh, political impacts, and religious impacts it, throughout the world and uh, among the people. There is a problem of status quo, uh, status quo to be um, actually um, resolved and boundaries to be uh, determined and respected so that there is a sense of security and also um, a freedom of religious worship among the people. Not only our eyes but also our hearts cry for the Palestinian people and we should enlighten our soul to actually build a life for the Palestinian generation so that they have the right to access better education, better health, and better life. We stand as humans and Muslims for the solidarity and justice of the Palestinian people. However, what we are seeing now is the avoid to stop effort by the war powers in the slaughtering of the Palestinian people. By the name of the created counter-terrorist uh, operations, they are not willing to stop. And this made our hearts and our eyes cry for our Muslims, brothers and sisters in Palestine. We stand for the solidarity and justice of the Palestinian people.